What's up guys, it's Leroy Jenkins here for another video, of course, a county jail roleplay video, of course, an update video. All these videos combined into one video, but of course, we are here in county jail roleplay here to uh, see what this update has to uh, show us in store. But of course, I'm here in a private server. I don't think you can do these things in public servers, but let's go on ahead and join the Department of Corrections. We'll join as maintenance mate does that actually do stuff interesting oh wow cool beans man what happens if i click on this uniforms oh man look at that you just get the staff versus the high visible working oh dude that's awesome so i guess we got a new job we got maintenance uh we got a toolbox we got a screwdriver look at that hey, oh in case the inmates start fighting Boom. Start hitting with that screwdriver. You can defend yourself as the maintenance man. All right. But next, let's go to, not this, uh, back to the menu, switch teams, confirm, play. And now we're going to become our good old fashioned director. But here it is, the director. Here is the staff building that we now have. Because, I mean, the entire map, as you saw right there, just got completely overhauled. But over here, we have ourselves, it looks like a... Uh, it's almost like a mini courtroom, but it's also like a, I don't know, like a disciplinary hearing place. I don't know. It, it, it can be used for multiple things. It can, yeah, it, it's maybe a briefing room even if there's nowhere else to brief this. It just looks like, I don't know, in case you, uh, you're you getting reprimanded, you come here. Whether you're an inmate, a guard, whatever, you go there and then you speak to the judge, you speak to whoever you called in. Here's some uh, office working area, but this is stuff you're going to see right here is uh there's shirts here why is there okay well, i guess this is a place to wash clothes all right um but of course we have here an elevator which is out of order but i was thinking you know maybe it's out of order because you know it's coming in a future update uh no it's not because there's stairs here so yeah i literally had to come through and i was like wow this is insane uh but here's the upstairs of course we got ourselves some good old-fashioned offices more offices full of office actually yeah we'll leave the door open uh here's more stairs to go back downstairs where do you go to now oh it just goes to the other side okay uh so yeah close this up time to investigate these offices at first i was like uh i know where the director's office will be because you know it'll be the place with the computer you can actually use it also i'm gonna grab this hamburger because why not now eat it oh i totally can nice but yeah, turns out the director's office has a good old-fashioned nameplate. These are just other people's offices. Also, it looks like this is... Yeah, this is another office. This was like the guard area. Uh, where are you? Nope, that's not the guard office. All right. But yeah, let me show you to the director's office right here. Bam! The director's office. Open this up. And here it is. We got some strange uh, bean person sitting down there, I guess, to keep us company. And you may be thinking, okay, well then how do I change the schedule and stuff? You know, do the stuff that directors do. Well, let me show you how to do that. There is a place now called the control room, which you can go inside of. And uh, you can go on ahead and sit here, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's this one. You sit here and now we have a schedule. You can change the sleep time to uh, canteen, free time, sleep, all this stuff. Yard. Absolutely fantastic. Let's close that. We have alarms now that we can send. Alarm. There you go. You can hear it, right? Look at that. We got the riot alarm. Then we got the breach alarm. Uh oh, do I have to wait now? I think I have to wait. Okay, well, we'll we'll come back and show you the breach alarm later. And then of course there's a broadcast message. Uh we'll say riot imminent. I spelled it wrong, but it's fine. All right. Can I? Oh, cooldown active. You can't send a message yet. Okay. Well, there is, everything is a cooldown. Oh, wait. No, there it is. Imminent. Oh, yeah. I completely spelled that wrong. All right. But then, of course, you have our workers and our department heads. If you want to, what's it called? If you want to pick somebody to be promoted, since, you know, there are anything here right now, you know, maybe there's a bunch of level zeros that you're working with, but like, you know, the guy, he seems like he's pretty cool. You can promote him to be security chief, technical manager, riot squad leader, cert commander, all of that stuff. So, yeah. That's the great thing you have to offer. In addition, we can uh, head on over here and there are now jobs. 
which I still, let me see, hold up. I think I have to go back to the menu. We're gonna come back here, just regular default staff. As you can see, I kind of forgot to turn off the alarm lights. So yeah, the lights are still on, but let's go on through here. It should be right right now. I'm just an employee. What happens if I click E? No jobs available for your department. Uh, I will figure out what that does later. And uh, if I don't figure out what that does later, somebody will tell me. Also, uh, I can't open this, uh, even as director. What's inside? We don't know. And here it is. The infamous guard room. We got ourselves some radios. A uh, good old-fashioned stamp-proof shield. Some flashlights. Whatever this is. Oh, it's like a pouch for like, carrying handcuffs and stuff. And then, of course, you have your gear. I mean, as me, I don't really have much to... Yeah, there's not really much to choose as an employee. But as a guard, this is where you choose your stuff. Then you can head on downstairs and uh, head out into the prison. Alrighty, now I want to show you guys one more thing. We have a little break room over here so that, you know, if you want to take a break, you can just chillax here on the couch. Maybe you and a friend can pretend to watch TV or just talk to each other. And uh, you won't have to be really sitting anywhere. What is this issue? It's a vent. There is a vent here. Interesting. Uh, so there, yeah, there's an empty vent there. So I guess you can like watch other people. Here's a more break room stuff. You know, hot dogs. If you like your hot dogs, there you go. Uh, what about here? Interrogation room. I actually have not been in here yet. I have not seen this. This is the interrogation room. You can interrogate inmates if they're, you know, fresh and, you know, or you're just having a detective or sheriff or state police come in and they want to talk to somebody. You bring them on over here and then, you know, you can just sit here while they're talking. And, you know, record the whole conversation and do all that other stuff that they do in the jails. And here's the security room. I have not been inside of here. It looks very security room-ish. It just looks like a a public building. I'm sorry. It just, it just screams public. You did a great job on that. I'm not sorry for that. You did a great job on that. It just really screams public building. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind you of this later. Uh, this looks pretty nice. The duty supervisor's office. Can he can he do any? I don't think he can actually do anything. I think only the direct uh, the director can do stuff. But also, uh, there are key cards that are different. Like I have the supervisor key card. The other one had like a staff key card. Uh, what they do as of now, I really do not know much. It looks like they're able to open all the same doors. Oh, here's an armory. Oh, this is where you get your big guns at. All right, good to know. But yeah, uh, this is where more stuff is, more gear. If you didn't want to, you know, use that uh, armory upstairs, you come on through here. I also think this place is more accessible to inmates if you catch my drift. Alrighty, now here is the medical area. Right here, we got a whole medical bay. Uh, what's in here? It is room one. Oh, hello. Hello, scans. There's scans on the wall. There's charts. There's over here to talk to more people. Uh, and then here is the actual place that you would take the inmates in uh for you know getting inspected and stuff and uh, cl can you close it again or no yeah there you go so they would just be laying on here this is cool oh my gosh awesome oh and this actually works you can't just walk right through it nice so yeah here it is right here bada bing bada boom you put him in then you stay right there as the guard and while well, the medical uh the nurse, the doctor, does what they got to do. Now, I think I have got everything in here, or at least, at least most things in here. We can go and check out the actual cells now. All right, here is the downstairs. It's on the other side of the, what's it called, of the hallway. You got to pass through here. You got to pass through the restricted area, slash exit, and then you go through here into this, past this jail. You go down the stairs, and here it is. Here's where you can frisk up the people. Or if you know they have a rope, they have a knife, they're inside of a place they're not supposed to be. You frisk them here and you can stick them in solitary. Close the door, open up, close the door just like that. What about here? Can you actually go in? Oh, you can't totally go in here. Oh, man. Dude, there's so much. Whoa, hello. Oh, nice, man. Dude, there's so much detail in here. Holy smokes. It just reminds me of Prison Architect. It really does. Every time I play this game, I just want to play Prison Architect. Now, all these, all these prison games... They just remind me of it. Here's visitation, right? This is where the inmates go in. Yeah, you got to bring them through here. I'm going to go see if I can find where the actual door for this is. So I can see where you actually enter the uh, quote unquote civilians from. All right. Well, I found the door that leads to it. You quite simply go through here and you walk through this exit. And here's the door to get an enter. I didn't even see any of this dude like at all. What is this? This is a, it's a maze. 
Oh, what is this? There's a, there's a clap. What? There's this, this place is a labyrinth. Okay, this place is a labyrinth. How? Okay, so that's... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this goes here. Close this. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I was like, am I, like, stuck in here? You're not. So what? You just take them from... From how? What is the point of this? Oh, is this like to rush them into? Okay, it's like a. T I guess in case like a riot or something happens, where well, you just rush them into here and then they kind of just gotta sit here or what? 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 Okay. Am I? How? I'm sorry. This, this place. There's so many doors, and there's also not so many doors at the same time. This place is so in death, man. All right, here's, I guess, where they check in. Okay, so, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how exactly this will. Okay, yeah, okay, so they walk through the front door, right? They go through here. They go talk to the front desk people. They go through the metal detector. They walk through here, and they walk through here, and they sit down. And in case of a riot, you rush them outside these two doors, and you shut them in here, and you tell them to wait. Okay, that makes sense now. All right, uh, notice, blah, 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 maybe monitor, and yeah, that's all makes sense. Uh, I just, I, there's so much, man. There's so much. Let's move on to the next thing. All righty, now, here is the final-ish area. We have ourselves a workshop. It's the, come on, this is the prison architect right here. This is probably where you can make some, uh, some shanks. You gather that material. You have here, oh, this is, okay, so it's a classroom. All right, good to, wait, this is open? Okay, so I guess this is where some prisoners can do some activities during workout or work time. They can come on over here. Is this supposed to be open or closed? Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's supposed to be open. Good to know. All right, so yeah, this is where prisoners can go to get, you know, that higher level access. But here it is, the minimum security yard. They also have a basketball court, but no basketball. You know, you got to be keeping that basketball court. They had a basketball court in the last version. They're going to keep that basketball court in this version. Let's walk through here. This door is schedule locked. Okay, we're walking through the front door. Dude, there's so much. So, here we have ourselves the kitchen, you know, so you can get all your, uh, oh, this is empty. Where's the stuff at? Okay, well, there you go. You get some tacos, you can get other stuff. There's the laundry room, of course. Everybody's favorite room whenever you're an inmate that has all the clothes. Then, this is this, is this schedule? It is schedule locked. This is a lot of open doors. Is this is what? Okay, what's the secure area and what's not? Okay, so this is the security area. Okay, right here is a restricted area. They can't go in here. Okay, this is just to make sure people aren't beating each other up inside of here, and you don't have to actually, you know, stand. You can just sit here and just watch. You don't have to risk getting shanked or whatever. And if they do start, you know, stuff starts popping off, then you gotta get out, you know, your room. All right, so that's that. That's to make sure you know all this gym stuff is supervised, all that other stuff. Okay, here is the main area, and dude, this just is jail. This, this really just is jail. Right here is the most jail you can get, bruh. If you haven't gone on a jail tour, well, if you want to do law enforcement, I recommend it. And just, I don't know, it would be an interesting experience to go on a jail tour just to see what your local jails look like. But it's probably going to look like this, or at least it's what the cells are going to look like. Because my goodness, man, it's just yeesh. All right, but yeah, oh, we got an indoor one. Nice, indoor uh, basketball hoop. Is this for knives? Yes, it is for knives. Okay, so wait, what's the difference between this and the actual orange thing? Maybe one sharper, or maybe they're just the same thing, but just different colors. But yeah, there you go, kitchen, minimum security. So this is pretty fast. Okay, so the office was where all the hard stuff was, AKA most of the, you know, in-depth stuff. Now it's just, you know, prison areas the places where you're going to be the most the most simplistic places where people can't get lost you know you just walk through a couple doors you're at most going to be like have like two doors in between you and outside so you can't get lost as compared to in that office you might get lost in there so be careful here's maximum security uh way more expanded way just cooler looking and bigger looking i haven't really seen this part this looks nice. These look like, like the 24. This looks more like prison. This is like the prison cells they have with the large steel doors. And they just have the feed slot to feed you through. But let's see. All right. Um, Over here is some green goop. Uh, Over there is that. 
here is a place where you can you know sit and relax and watch over the inmates without having to expose yourself to danger can you actually enter this place oh you can totally enter this place without exposing yourself to danger well kind of no never mind well during free time you can't enter but everything else every other time you can enter this place without exposing yourself to danger because you know you kind of can walk through the yard and anytime other than free time this door will be closed so you'll be safe and if you have to make a strategy to get inside but you don't want to be stacked up on this door then that's why you have that second door there's two means of entry now instead of just one where they're going to be piling up on that door but here of course is the uh, exterior fence that protects the interior from the whole scary exterior of all these you know people trying to escape Oh, there's also an upstairs, by the way, to another gym. But yes, here it is. It goes all the way around the, the jail. I keep on trying to say prison, but it's a jail. It goes all the way around the jail. All the way around. I mean, you can, if you really want to take some extra time, then you can walk around it and I guess patrol the outskirts. But it's probably going to be pretty boring as compared to just the interior of the fence. Because if you see anything, especially if you're back over here, this is the only door in. And then you got to wait all the way to back over here, basically. So this yard and then this yard. Anything you see back behind here, there's nothing you can do about it. You're basically just stuck back there and you got to walk through. But here is where the, uh, where is it? Minimum security can hop this fence right here. And then there should be another fence that they can hop over. Yep, I already see it right now. So they hop over that middle fence right there. And then they hop over this fence right here with the rope and bada bing bada boom they are now out so watch the yard carefully okay it is a warning and if you're a medium security then that's like the easiest way especially if nobody's looking but if somebody is looking it's probably gonna be pretty easy for them to uh catch you or actually you know it's still gonna be hard because even though it takes some time if they're like from over here and you hop the fence just boom immediately get on that second one you're probably gonna get over by the time they're running over here you know saying that there's an inmate about to leave so yeah either way as long as there's no guard on the basketball court you're free to escape just be stealthy about it but here you go guys there you go this is the main prison the main jail area we can look at all the other stuff at a later date but if you enjoy today's update video you know what you have to do make sure to leave a like subscribe share with all your friends and i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow or actually wait 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 one more thing one more thing this is what the actual uh layout is and all the experience or not the experimental uh all the important places right here bam 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 one two three four five six seven eight nine you can pause you can read it if you don't have discord then it's on discord so if you want to join it then do it but there you go now bye guys